compared to what you said, this idea. This idea. <laughs> well, this idea of this sort of need, but I, I would say, first of all, just in terms of responding to Aaron and also to, I forgot his name, the JPP, the UK, um, I'm sure people here have seen it, um, and, and actually there was this sort of big back and forth email exchange on, on the Juicy website. Um, I'm sure many people see that between Joey Kurtzman from Juicy and Jack Wertheimer from JTS, the sort of seen as a conservative. Of, American, uh, the American jury. But basically, he asked the same question. He said, you know, peoplehood is over. Peoplehood doesn't respond to our questions anymore. And we need a new era. And in a sense, he was asking your question about taking it even, you know, making it even more extreme by saying, we need a new organizing principle because peoplehood is already a thing in the past. And if you, the leaders of the Jewish community, don't think of new organizing principles, then all these people and all these kind of quote unquote longer lives Jews, as you call them, will be lost. Um, I, I think that that's, well, I think that that's wrong, um, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Um, I think with, with regard to, to sort of Aaron's question, there's, there's Martin Buber actually talks about this whole concept of what Judaism is, and he says that it's not, um, Judaism is not only a religion, it's not only a culture, but in order for Judaism to be Judaism, it needs to be a faith, a culture, and a people. And that the whole experience of, let's say, experience of revelation, the experience of the Jewish people becoming a people was so part and parcel of the people that if you take away the people and you just leave a religion or a culture or an ideology like Zionism, then then you're taking away in the sense what Judaism is or what, what the Jewish, I don't know, the Jewish experiment or the Jewish Jewishness is. Um, and I think that, that this is sort of building on what Monty was saying, but that Zionism was this um, kind of suggested this, this solution. It was a response to the problems. It was, it was an organizing principle, and it was an idea that all of the Jewish energies from all over would be focused on Israel. All people would come to Israel, or energies would be focused here. And with time, you know, Zionism has, has sort of certainly had its strengths and still continues to have its strengths. But at the end of the day, all Jews all over the world are not necessarily coming here, and we don't necessarily think that that's wrong. Um, and I think that there needs to still be this feeling and of the Jewish people, and even more so than that, it's not only that people don't come here, but what I was saying before, there's this kind of polarization between what it means to be Israeli and what it means to be Jewish. And you know, I always, in, in talking to, to friends of mine who are here, they, they always, Israelis who grew up here, who are connected to the state, who are proud of the army service, who don't necessarily feel as strong, Jewish identity. They say when you go to Khul, you know, what do you feel? Do you feel like you're more Israeli? Or do you connect with other Israelis that you see there? Or do you connect with other Jews? And the answer from all of them is I connect with other Israelis. So in a sense, I think the nationalism succeeded beyond, like beyond belief. It exceeded expectations because there was a nationalism that started to then lose its Judaism and its Jewish character. And, and I think that in a way people had a response because what it does is as as one of Monty's pillars was Israel. So it's it puts Israel as the center of, you know, the, the center, the, the energy, whether you look at, you know, political Zionism or spiritual Zionism and cultural Zionism, whether it's a political home or a cultural home, but it's it's the energy, it's the center of the Jewish people. But it says that we need to have something that looks broader and something that looks wider. Um, I think uh, Shlomit, would you like to respond and we'll take some more questions. Okay? Yeah, I want a loyal time. Sorry. <laughs> what can I do? It's Pekka. There's a record. There's, there's a chair here, Aaron. Stand in the corner. I know, it's one today now. I'm going to stand. I don't want to take away the moisture. I'll stand with this one. I'll now sit in my uh, it's got a slant. I want, I want <laughs> to use your, your question, uh, but also try and answer some of the things that you said. Thank you. 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 We're in a, in a new phase. People is, is an organizing co concept. By the way, it's not an end for me. And maybe that's another whole, whole discussion. I can't, in, in a conceptual fashion, I, I can understand Zionism without, without pres presupposing um, the, the term of uh, the, the term of the of people. In other words, if you don't. And I'm, I'm, I haven't heard your definition of, of, of Zionism. Right, that's what's missing from this conversation. Right. But 
But if we if we think of it in terms of the, the, the Jewish state, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that the whole Jewish enterprise, you need to buy into it. You need to, to, to feel that it's relevant, that it's important, that, it, that it's meaningful to our future. And then you construct on those foundation ideologies such as Zionism, and, and, but, but there are other legitimate perspectives. Basically, the, I, I think what, what um, Hadam was grappling with was what would be a relevant, effective way to sustain Jewish civilization, civilization in the, in the, in the, in the more holistic concept. And it's a fact of life, and actually, Zionists should come to terms with it, that not all Jews are Zionists, and it's okay. It really is okay. And one's relationship, we spoke about the different relationship, Israelis, when they talk about Zionism, they talk about their relationship to their state. You don't introduce the, the notion of peoplehood. Why should they be linked to the rest of the people? By the way, I don't actually. I, I think that it's, it's a it's an educational failure. It's not a it's not a, a conceptual problem. The Israelis are they basically arrange their lives very neatly. What is our Zionism? When Jews are in trouble, we open the doors. When Jews are bring them in, we help them. They get automatic uh, citizenship. And sometimes we go rescue them. I do that. I'm a Zionist. I'm okay. I got the stamp, and I don't have to grapple with with with, uh, with more serious questions. The real the real challenge, and we didn't go there. It's it's interesting. And, and when when I have more time with groups, and when they come, I basically ask people to grapple with the question of what is what does being part of the Jewish people mean to you, Aaron? Where did you bump into it first time? Where did you actually get the sense that you're part of something? I mean, was it a book you read, a film you saw, an event you went through, the first Israel visit? Fascinating to hear how Israelis respond and, and how non-Israelis respond. But in, in many respects, to do a sort of introspection and a search, all, all, all of us who are grappling with, with, that, uh, with that question, of where, where did it penetrate into my system? And it did. I, we may not be aware of it. it every person here has, has that's a DNA, actually. Um, Zionism is a much more political uh, construct that, that actually, whether we know it or not, or not, is based and built on that. But that's just the opening of the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not an answer. <coughs> 